Hello everyone, welcome back to Coombe Valley Campers. We're starting a new series on how to T3. So we're gonna show you hints, tips, advice on how to run and drive and maintain your T3 camper van. This van in particular is a early T3. So we're gonna show you today how to just check all your fluids in the access flap just behind the number plate. The main fluids you're going to need to check on your van are the water and the oil. The cooling system in these are quite complex. So we lower this panel at the back behind the number plate and you can see that we've got a expansion tank for the water. We've got the oil fill tube and we've also got the dipstick hit right here as well. First little tip for you, if you're going to check the water, you can unscrew this cap and just tuck it in there, which means you don't have to hold it open anymore. Your coolant bowl should always have fluid in it. Nine times out of ten, I'll have vans come in that don't have any fluid in them at all. They're the bottles you need to check. There is a minimum mark and a maximum mark. You've got to have it at the maximum mark at all times. So keep some water and or coolant water mix in the vehicle, keep it topped up. I generally put some fluids in there and make sure it's just pegged to the bottle opening right there. So once you've checked your water, you can take your lid off or out of the gap here, get it closed. To check your oil, same deal. You take your cap off, again, tuck it in the space. Now I've seen a lot of van owners who are trying to get a funnel in to fill up with their oil or have extended coat bottles or all sorts of stuff. What most people don't know is that tube is actually telescopic and will come right out. You can get better access just by opening the boot slightly and you can put your funnel in there. Instead of buying a regular funnel to go into this tube, what I found is a really, really good option, especially when you're just down the road and you need to top up, is a regular 500 mil uh, Coke bottle, fizzy pot bottle. You can cut the side out of it, stick your bottle straight in the filler neck there and add your oil in. Once you're done with your oil, you can push that tube back in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll leave that out. So once you're finished with your oil, you can dip your tube straight back in there. Now your dipstick, again on a 1.9 DG petrol, is right in here. And we've just done the oil change on this. So you can see your oil is right at the top notch mark there. But to simply top up your oil, pull it out the first time, wipe off the excess, dunk it in, pull it straight back out, and then you can see where your oil mark is right there. And that one is absolutely spot on. So that's the first of the how-to videos on these T3 vans or Vanagons or Type 25s or whatever you call them, depending on which country you're in. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Um, we're always reading your comments and replying to them as well. So like the video, click on the subscribe for us, and yeah, we'll be back next week with another little hints and tips video for you.